Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tembeli Lewagwa Bengu and on today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys the actual questions that you are most likely going to be asked during your interview. Now maybe you might be wondering, okay, are these legit? How do you find these questions? Did you find them from the internet? What happened girl? Give us the tea. Well, I was fortunate enough to get these questions straight from the actual agency, which is likely going to be conducting your interview. So, um, basically, the main idea is that the recruiters, because I'm fortunate enough to have, you know, like a consistent communication with them, they were like very clear that, okay, listen, um, we'd like for you to share such information because this is our goal. And one of the goals is that they want the process to be very easy for them. So when I share information to you guys, please take the notes. There's no need for you to go to my Instagram account and bug me with a lot of questions, especially of things that I've covered on my videos. If you haven't watched any of my previous sit down videos, then you have to go there and watch them because some questions really do not make any sense. So their uh, main idea or vision is that if I am willing to be the bridge between the two worlds, then it's okay. They are willing um, to give me the platform to do that, but also provided that you guys really, um, you know, be hands on, you know, find information. There's plenty of information online on Google. If not, I will share information, but I will not share repetitive information especially if i'm going to talk about something here and then you go to my inbox and then you start asking me tons of questions i have other things to deal with that is why i've decided to incorporate some of you know this information on my youtube channel to avoid having to answer the same questions 30 40 40 times to different people through the DMs because that's very much exhausting. Otherwise, I don't want to be that person who's going to, going to be like, okay, guys, you can ask me a question on my DM and the next thing, I do not answer your questions and then you feel like, oh, what's wrong? But basically, one of the reasons why I feel like you guys are just pushing it is because you basically make it so hard for us to be willing to share information because at some point, I think the last week, I was like, you know what? screw this like it's easy for me to just decide i'm no longer gonna share any information do not ask me any questions so please make it easy for me because one thing about me i get really <sighs> i'm so impatient you know and um i really want this channel to be about sharing information positivity and also mainly because i did say this previously that this channel however even though i will be sharing things about taiwan specifically how to get jobs this and that but that's not my main focus. I have other things. I have a life outside of sharing information. Right, now that now that's, that is out, out of the way, oh my God, why am I rambling so early in the, the video? Oh my God, wow. Now that that's out of the way, sharp and se So um, today I am going to be sharing these questions. I am going to separate this video into two parts because there's a lot of questions. In total, I have around 20 questions. They did adjust the questions for you specifically because I did ask for these questions. So they were like, okay, we decided to come up with these questions so that you can help us source out all this um, information. And then when people um, are being conducted for questions, I mean interviews, then they will be prepared and they will know exactly what is happening, the kinds of questions they would have already prepared in advance, right? So that is the main idea. Um, if you are interested to find out more, please do continue on watching and please subscribe. You guys are watching my videos, but you are not subscribing. Why? Why? The next thing I'm going to do now, if you want more information from me, I'm going to ask you to show proof that you've subscribed to my channel. Otherwise, ah, namaste, namaste. <laughs> do you guys remember Masha Lembe? Hi, we knock. Okay, 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 okay. Let's jump straight to the video. Okay, so the first question that they are going to ask you, this I think is one of the most common questions, is please briefly introduce yourself. So in this question, you want to mention the following things. You want to mention the country that you come from, family, hobbies, education, and majors. 
so we covered some of those things in one of my previous videos which was my introduction video so guys talk about your country where do you come from you know your family like Shay, you know what you're going to say unfortunately i cannot tell you about me because it's going to be you who is going to be conducting the interview so think about those things already you know what to say or what to look for or how to answer the question if you are not sure go back to my introductory video you are going to have an idea of what to say or how to say it second question what are the three words you would use to describe your personality key three words three words so to describe your personality you might be someone who is you know going through a lot like in terms of uh traits and characteristics but they say it only three so maybe you might be saying um things like okay you like to you are outgoing um you are kind and you are punctual or maybe spontaneous like try to think or try to sum up some of um the things that make you a person or things that say a lot about your personality question number three please tell us about your teaching experience <laughs> well i am aware that some of you do not have any teaching experience but make something up like guys <laughs> make something up maybe somewhere somehow you've taught your sister how to draw maybe you've taught um your your neighbor's child how to play a ball or how to play soccer for example something that has to do with teaching someone something you know um if not then you are going to talk about your classroom maybe you can say that um i have had ex teaching experience like for me that's what i said in my interview i said that i have been fortunate enough to teach kids coming from different backgrounds and that has enabled me to be able to work with students that come from um advantaged and disadvantaged backgrounds meaning that in class i am now able to draw balance and it's easy for me to understand where each child is coming from as a teacher but your experience won't be the same as mine i'm just giving you an example number four why do you choose taiwan Again, I've covered this question in one of my previous videos, but just to cut it short, you are going to speak about traveling, about the culture, about, you know, the safety. Make sure you find information. You can just Google things like, um, why is Taiwan a good country? And then you'll find out different things and then pick up whatever you like from there. But do not say things like, because my friends are there or my friends are also in Taiwan. That makes no sense. Okay, maybe you can say, okay, you chose Taiwan because you were influenced by me. Okay, that can be acceptable. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay, the next question, what's your teaching philosophy? Well, that's up to you to decide. That is your own philosophy. I cannot answer for you. Just like my philosophy is also my own philosophy. So... Find out what's your own um, your teaching philosophy because that question is most likely going to be asked. Number six, how do you maintain students' attention in class, and what do you do to get their attention back when they are not focused in class? Well, here you have to basically they want to see how well you can manage a class, so they want to see your management skills or your discipline skills. So you want to speak about things like, okay, I um, give my students um, extra, not extra work, but maybe I give them extra attention. If there's a student that is not cooperating, I sit to them one-on-one -on -one to find out what could be the problem. And maybe things like I keep my, be and my students very busy and occupied all the time that they forget to um, make noise or they never get time to chat with their friends because we are always doing fun, exciting and engaging activities. Those are just examples. Question number seven. What are your tips for classroom discipline? What do you do when students are noisy or when a student disturbs the class? Again, it's similar to 
the previous question but they are going to ask you one of each of the questions if maybe they are not satisfied with your answer maybe they will ask you this question so that they can see if they can really trust you when it comes to discipline right so they are very much big on um classroom discipline so it's very important that you sell yourself guys google how to discipline a classroom find out all those different strat strategies and methods online and just make up something you know already now you know the question so you know how to prepare for each question number eight in a class of 30 students what can you do to get everyone to speak and practice right so generally generally the students here in taiwan in each class the number ranges between in public schools it ranges between 25 to 30 um, so what I normally do to grasp their attention or to make them all speak and practice, I do methods like drilling. Drilling is when you ask everyone in class to follow you. For example, Simon says, and then whatever you say, they have to say it back. So that's one of the most common things you can do. The next one maybe you can say is you can um, separate your students into different groups and then um, engage them or make them practice group presentations where in each group each student gets to speak. Also um, maybe you can say we can play a game in teams and then each team gets a trial while the other students observe you know like try to find several things like guys everything is online like I am just sharing questions that's the most important part I don't have to tell you the answers you know I just need to share with you the questions you are going to answer the questions your way or the best way you see see it fits right so the next question okay the next question question number nine what are the different teaching techniques you have tried in class there's many teaching techniques but or strategies but please Highlight this one is your first one. Say that you believe in learner centered strategies or learner centered techniques. That's all they want to hear. And then you can ramble and add everything else. Maybe say you believe in bringing more visuals into class. You believe in engaging your students more. You believe in learner participation. But student centered teaching. That's all you have to say and then you can, you know, elaborate. Question number 10. How do you design a worksheet to help students learn? What are the key elements? Do highlights that you are going to have things like um, vocabulary words, pictures. You are going to make your worksheets accommodate, yes, accommodate students that um, come from different um, learning levels, higher leveled and lower leveled. You can include that and say that, like literally explain the difference and it's going to make you seem like or look like you really know what she's talking about because that's what they wanna know. They wanna know, um, okay, so how are you going to do this, you know? And then you can just quickly highlight that okay my worksheets i'm going to include maybe vocabulary uh pictures i'm going to make my worksheets um learner friend friendly so that if students who cannot read they can see pictures that's why i'm saying maybe you can include both maybe you can also say you can include um lower leveled questions and higher leveled questions so you can accommodate both kinds of students or maybe you can also say you can separate your worksheets and classes identify students who need extra help or who are struggling and design worksheets that are specifically um suitable for their needs and then you know there's many ways to tackle this question. Again, it's up to you on how you want to do it and your creativity and as well as your skills and strategies. Google. Google should be your friend. I mean, if you are trying to lend yourself a job in a foreign country, 
Google is supposed to be your best friend. Okay, so we have come to the end of part one of this video. Um, I'm going to start recording part two because I don't want this video to be too long because I understand there's a lot of things going on in South Africa, you know, things like load shedding, um, you know, the cost of having data or data. So I'm trying to accommodate everyone as best as I can. So this is going to be part one and thank you guys so much for watching till this part. Look out for part two that is going to follow up on my next video. Bye!